Discovering the origins of planets is more than just looking into space. It's a quest that could solve the biggest cosmic mystery of all, how we came to be. The building blocks of solar systems are the planets in their early gassy stages, which are concealed within protoplanetary disks. We only had a rough idea of how cosmic regions like ours have changed over time unless we fully understood these foundational processes. And today, our knowledge has become larger than ever before. Let's explain what has happened. Understanding the commonalities that might support life is an essential goal of this investigation, which goes beyond the realm of academia. Learning about planets in their formative years brings us one step closer to knowing what it takes to create a habitable planet, beyond simply being a celestial body. In this endeavor, we may find not only other planets, but perhaps signs of life in the cosmos beyond our little blue dot. Exploring a planet in its early phases is like trying to decipher its genetic code. This adventure goes deep into the cosmic soup to discover how complicated systems form, going beyond simple astronomical body cataloguing. The complexities of planet formation, concealed in the whirlwind of protoplanetary disks, are foundational to our knowledge of not just the origins of planets, but also their evolution to support complex and valuable phenomena like life. This study has far-reaching consequences that go beyond just academia. In doing so, they shed light on the existential question of whether or not life may emerge anywhere in the cosmos. Planet formation provides a starting point for unraveling the complex web of circumstances required for life. Discovering extraterrestrial life is only part of the story. A more comprehensive view of Earth's place in the universe depends on our ability to deduce the specific circumstances under which life might flourish. In our quest to discover extraterrestrial life, we are completely lost without these insights. There are many different kinds of conditions where life could emerge, and we run the danger of missing the details that make some worlds viable. With each new finding in planetary formation, we get closer to the solution to one of humanity's deepest questions. How far apart are we from the stars? The James Webb Space Telescope is set to shed light on the mysterious protoplanetary disks and other deep space objects with its unmatched infrared vision. In its pursuit of cosmic knowledge, this next-generation observatory is not operating alone, but rather at the hub of a vast collaborative network, drawing on the achievements of its forebears and contemporary counterparts, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. In addition to ALMA's knowledge of millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths and Hubble's optical and ultraviolet vision, Webb's one-of-a-kind suite of instruments can stare into the infrared spectrum with unparalleled clarity and sensitivity. When it comes to studying how planets are formed, this trio of observational behemoths works hand-in-hand -hand to provide a more complete picture of the universe. Webb will add to the body of knowledge left by Hubble and ALMA by working with them to further understand their observations. Webb will investigate the thermal emissions from protoplanetary disks, building on Hubble's and ALMA's previous work, revealing their complex features, such as gaps and spirals that may contain developing planets. The ability to detect the thermal radiation emitted by newborn planets and dust grains will provide astronomers with important information on the makeup of these celestial incubators and the physical processes that shape them. In addition, the cosmic dust frequently blocks our view of these young planetary systems, but Webb's infrared spectral capabilities make it ideal for piercing through this dust. This capacity will reveal features of protoplanetary disks that have been obscured from prior observatories, such as the disk's interactions with its central star and the early phases of planet formation. Astronomers will gain a better understanding of the disk dynamics and be able to confirm the presence of planets in formation by combining web views with data from Hubble and ALMA. Investigating the chemistry of the disk material, accretion processes and interactions between the disk and stars are all part of this. For a detailed picture of the evolution of the planetary system, from the formation of fully formed planets to the collapse of interstellar clouds, such all-encompassing insights are essential. Working together, 
Webb, Hubble, and Alma demonstrate how powerful it is to use many observational platforms, each with its own strengths, to understand how planets are born. In the never-ending pursuit of knowledge, this synergy will surely take our comprehension of the cosmos to new levels, providing solutions to old questions while also raising new puzzles. In its deep space, observations of the protoplanetary disks HL Tau, SAO206462 and MWC758, the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a complex and fascinating web of information that questions our present knowledge of how planets are formed. The distinct characteristics that have been uncovered in each of these disks, a whirlwind of gas and dust that encircles newborn stars, offer clues about the intricate and ever-changing processes of planet formation and evolution. High Level Tau the complex patterns within the disk of HL Tau, a young star around 450 light-years away from Earth, have been beautifully shown by Webb's observations. This system was examined with Webb's infrared telescope because it is well known for its remarkably transparent gaps and rings that seem like the early solar system. In order to better comprehend the material distribution and possible indications of planet formation, the observations attempted to penetrate the thick cloud of gas and dust. In spite of all the hype, the surrounding material had its advantages and disadvantages. It let us see the building blocks of planets, but blocked our view of the bodies as they formed. SAO The focus shifted to SAO 206462, a protostar with a disk that stands out for its unique spiral arms, and Webb set out to discover what causes these fascinating formations. Previous research had pointed to a large planet cutting a passage across the disk, but Webb's results disproved that. Unexpectedly, the telescope picked up signals from a planet that may be in the process of formation, rather than the gas giant that was anticipated. Not only does this finding show how planet formation can take surprising turns, but it also shows how difficult it is to forecast how these intricate dynamical interactions will play out. Topic 758. Webb was analyzing the disk of MWC 758, another protoplanetary system with spiral arms, to determine the characteristics of the possible planetary builders responsible for these peculiarities. Despite hopes of finding a planet in the process of formation within its scope, Webb's observations only served to deepen the puzzle. The complex nature of studying these faraway worlds is highlighted by the fact that planets in this system have not been directly detected during their formation. This indicates that the objects influencing these disks might be more elusive, smaller or obscured by dust than initially thought. Together with earlier data from ALMA and Hubble, these web findings are changing how we think about protoplanetary disks and the young planets they contain. The discovery of possible new planets and the absence of expected ones both highlight the complexity of planet creation, which led to these surprising results. They show us a cosmos where the process of creation is far from linear, but rather a winding road full of mysteries, ready to be unveiled by the dogged observation of our most powerful telescopes. Finding planets when they are still in their early phases is as difficult as trying to make out the flicker of a candle under a bright spotlight. The immense emptiness of space and the dense, dusty atmospheres in which these young planets are born only make matters worse. Astronomers must use cutting-edge technology and novel approaches to capture a glimpse of developing planets since these celestial bodies are so dim compared to their host stars. The problem of contrast is one of the major obstacles. It is extremely challenging to directly detect planets in formation since they are typically millions of times fainter than the host stars. To get around this, astronomers employ methods like coronagraphy, which entails directing the light of the star away from the planets so that they can be seen, despite their very lower luminosities. But even with modern technology, the light from the material around the star can mask the slightest signs of planets in formation. To compensate for the atmospheric blurring that ground-based telescopes experience, adaptive optics devices are vital. Webb and other space-based observatories are necessary because these systems have limits especially in the infrared spectrum, which is where protoplanetary disks and developing planets produce the majority of their light. 
Another challenge is the inherent instability and changeability of protoplanetary disks. The presence of planets in their early stages can be obscured by the gas, dust and debris that fills these disks, which provide a complicated background. Astronomers utilize the infrared capabilities of telescopes, such as Webb, to peer through these veils and detect the warmer components contained within the disk. Furthermore, spectroscopy and other similar methods enable scientists to identify chemical features of disk components, which may provide light on the underlying accretion and formation mechanisms. The utilization of indirect evidence to deduce the existence of planets in formation is another novel approach. Disk structures like gaps, rings and spiral arms can be attributed to planetary gravitational pull and are studied by astronomers. Scientists can find patterns that fit with ideas of planet formation by studying the movement and distribution of gas and dust in these disks. The identification of planets in formation is still a difficult riddle, even with these cutting-edge methods. Understanding the complex relationship between dust, light and gravity in the chaotic star nurseries calls for innovative and multidisciplinary methods in addition to high-precision sensors. The search to comprehend the genesis of planetary systems is expanding human understanding and unveiling the intricate dance of creation as technology and methodology develop. Insights into the processes of planet formation and the early distribution of materials in developing solar systems have been provided by the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope and its joint studies with other telescopes. Not only do these results expand our understanding, but they also force us to rethink our current understanding of planetary evolution and the models and theories that attempt to account for it. Discoveries of previously undiscovered planets and complex structures within protoplanetary disks are examples of the unexpected observations that give us empirical evidence that both tests and improves our theoretical models. For example, disk features such as spiral arms, gaps and rings may now be more reliably associated with the gravitational pull of planets in formation, providing a clear observable link between disk characteristics and planetary formation mechanisms. By incorporating these new results into their simulations and theories, astronomers are able to improve models of planet formation, including the core accretion model and the disk instability model. The precise measurements of the dust, gas and maybe ice distributions within these disks provide insight into the early circumstances that gave rise to planets. We can learn more about the makings of the planets and whether or not they are habitable thanks to Webb's mapping of the disk's thermal emissions and chemical signatures. The acquisition of atmospheres, seas and potentially life-sustaining elements by planets can be better understood by delving into the distribution and dynamics of these materials. Webb and similar missions have shed light on the evolutionary paths taken by planetary systems through the data they have collected. From the first dust and gas cloud collapse through the birth of a fully developed solar system, astronomers can put together a more complete timeline of planetary evolution by studying systems at different phases of formation. These findings provide light on the mechanisms of protoplanetary disk disintegration, planet migration patterns in these systems, and stable planetary orbit formation. Interest in gas giants' roles in controlling planetary systems' environments is high, especially as it relates to the possibility of habitable planets like Earth. The stability and habitability of inner planets are maintained, according to theory, by gas giants like Jupiter, protecting them from the relentless onslaught of comets and asteroid. Information regarding gas giant formation, migration routes, and effects on planetary system architecture may be gleaned from Webb's observations. Our knowledge of how habitable zone worlds like Earth might maintain habitable conditions could be enhanced as a result. These findings have far-reaching consequences for astrobiology, the study of extraterrestrial life that depends on our knowledge of how planets formed and evolved. We can thank Webb for expanding the range of habitable zones and increasing the likelihood of finding life-sustaining planets by determining the circumstances under which planets develop and the diversity of environments that can support planetary systems. Overall, our knowledge of the universe has advanced greatly thanks to the discoveries made by Webb and the combined results of our joint observations.
In addition to enhancing our understanding of the formation of planets and planetary systems, they broaden our perspective of the conditions that could support life, leading us to uncover new areas to investigate in our pursuit of cosmic understanding. An exciting new chapter in our understanding of how planets originate and evolve has begun with the discoveries of surprising planetary candidates and complex disk structures made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope. As we look ahead, there are so many possibilities for new discoveries that could change the way we see the universe. The first Webb observations have set the stage for a thorough analysis of the properties of the planet candidates that have been found. In order to better characterize these possibilities, future observations will make use of Webb's unmatched sensitivity and resolution to do follow-up research. Astronomers intend to ascertain the masses, compositions, and atmospheric characteristics of these newborn worlds by analyzing their light. Extensive characterizations like these will prove that these objects are in fact planets and shed light on the many different ways planets come to be by revealing their compositions and architectures. Our knowledge of how planets form will be greatly enhanced by the web. A direct imaging of circumstellar disks and the discovery of protoplanetary cores are among its features that enable the investigation of the earliest stages of planet formation within protoplanetary disks. Theoretical models of planet formation, like as core accretion and disk instability theories, rely heavily on these data. With Webb's help, we can better understand the intricacies of planet formation by tracing the dynamics of accretion processes and mapping the distribution of dust, gas, and ice in these disks. This data can either bolster or refute current theories. The larger objective of understanding the origin and evolution of planetary systems relies heavily on Webb's observations, which extend far beyond the immediate goal of defining specific planet candidates. A more complete history of planetary system evolution can be built with the help of Webb's studies of systems at different ages, from the first protoplanetary disks to older systems. Planetary migration and its effects on system design, the function of stellar feedback in determining planetary habitats, and the establishment of stable, hospitable conditions are all aspects that must be comprehended. Interdisciplinary cooperation and technological advances are crucial for the future of planetary formation investigations with Webb. A more complete picture of planetary systems will emerge from the combination of Webb data with that from space missions, ground-based observatories, and theoretical models. Webb and other observatories will continue to push the bounds of discovery as new instruments and technology allow us to identify fainter objects, resolve finer details, and access a broader spectrum of wavelengths. More general effects. We learn more about the formation of planetary systems and get answers to more general questions regarding the possibility of life beyond Earth thanks to Webb's continuing and future observations. As a giant leap forward in our pursuit of cosmic comprehension, Webb's discoveries will guide our hunt for habitable planets and alien life by illuminating the circumstances under which planets develop and change. In conclusion, Webb has enormous and encouraging future potential in the field of planetary formation and evolution of systems. We are becoming more and more connected to the universe and our knowledge of it as we gain a better grasp of the intricate mechanisms that control the formation and evolution of planets and planetary systems with every observation. Our exploration of the universe is only just getting started as the James Webb Space Telescope brings us one step closer to groundbreaking discoveries. As new information emerges, our comprehension of the complex creative process that builds galaxies and forges planets deepens. One observation at a time, thanks to Webb, we are beginning to grasp the enormous mysteries of planetary creation and the evolution of celestial bodies. The spotlight is now on you, the audience. How do you feel about these revolutionary findings? Considering these new facts, how do you believe our view of the cosmos and our role in it will change? Leave a comment with your questions, opinions and ideas. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you share our awe at the magnificence of space. By contributing, 
you enable us to unveil more mysteries of the cosmos, allowing all people to share in our awe at its magnificence and intricacy. Let us continue this marvelous voyage through the heavens if you remain inquisitive and keep exploring.